What's going on guys and welcome back to No Deflection Gaming. Today we're looking at core farming and with core farming it's going to be a pretty simple task here. Our objective is to make as many cores as possible for upgrading your gear as fast as possible and as easy as possible. And I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to do this the most uh, successful way. So let's just jump right into it. First off, let's take a look at how many cores I have right now. So currently I have 141 cores and just to make things more simple um, I'm going to actually go and I'm going to salvage what I have right now actually no let's not even do this we got one piece I'm going to salvage right there uh, I have another one right there uh, these are going to stay I'm not going to salvage any of that so right now I have two pieces I'm going to salvage already prior to doing this all right so let's take a look at what you're going to actually be doing on the map wise so you guys have an idea of what's going to happen so Take a look at the actual map itself make you guys a little better idea so we're going to be doing the daily missions the regionals basically um this is where you're going to get all of your cores that you're going to need to do all of your upgrading so let's take a look at this so right now you're looking at this you have it's going to give you you know 185,000 experience 846 sxp you know 10,000 gold and then 27 cores just for doing the mission itself so right there you're already getting cores just from doing the mission itself on top of that, you're getting the piece of armor, which you can't upgrade this, obviously. This is what you're going to be salvaging. Not only that, you guys are going to be picking up gear while you're doing this as well. Now, in my opinion, everyone should be doing this as soon as this pops up. Every day, every time. If you're on, you should be doing this a minimum two times, two full runs through. You can keep it to uh, the general dailies or regionals, whatever you're going to call them. You can go around and just hit these specifically. You're always looking for that time remaining. Um, they go very fast and my ultimate suggestion for this like a huge pro tip when you're doing these do these with a group because when you're doing for instance let's say cure the six ho sick horses if, let's say if uh, five people in your group if each person picks up one horse sick horse and cures them and you have you know three left to do you're gonna literally complete this quest in 10 seconds it's that fast so doing this as a group is very, very, very important. Um, you can do this solo, which I'm going to show you now. I'm going to take a look at the time, and then I'm going to give you an idea of how long it's actually going to take. So right now for me, it is 1.38 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll do like a general run. So what I'll do is I'll actually go through and do all the, let's call them, I call them dailies, but I guess the regionals, we're going to call them. Um, I'm going to run through all of Karzakor. I'll go through all of Navara, or most of them. I try to pick ones that are just a little faster. Um, so I'll run through Navara, and I'll go down into No Wastes. And I'll just stick with those three for now. Obviously, if you want to get the most cores for your money, let's call it, uh, you want to run through every area. You want to go through No Wastes, Trist as a Timeless Jungle, and call it. Go through everything you possibly can. Even go up here into Padana, Canis Mountains, and so on and so forth. So just to give you an idea how long this is going to take, I'm going to do just Cars of Core itself. Navara and then the um the null waste and see where we land as far as timing and cores wise oh another pro tip by the way for you guys if you don't know about the cars core buff when you're doing these this is a clutch thing to use so if you go up here and you go to pray this is going to give you a speed buff all right so let's give you an idea of what it's going to look like so let's just go up over our first spot and see how we do all right so with general for uh core farming with general core farming you're going to be just literally going through this quest and knocking them out as fast as possible. Um, just trying to do the fastest quests because you don't, you're not here to get XP. You're here to get uh, cores and that's it, right? So we'll just make sure we're grabbing some other ones here. Oh, stuck on a guy. So see how much faster I'm running actually with this buff on? Now what I'll do is I'll actually go back and pick up this buff a couple times. Um, I won't just pick it up once. I'll go back and maybe if it runs out... I'll actually go pick up maybe two, maybe three times even. Because it really does help, especially when you're just trying to do this kind of stuff, pick up things. It keeps you from having to fight these guys for the most part. So it's a huge, huge time saver. Alright, so that's the first one down. And then I'm not even going to mount up, I'm just going to run over to the, uh, run right over to the sick horses. Now remember, I had 138 cores in the beginning of this.
All right, guys, now that I made it through my normal run through Karzakor, Navara, and Nolwais, I'm actually going to go up and do my Donna Ruins run as well. All right, guys, so currently we started at, currently it's 154, so we started at 138, it is now 154, so almost roughly 20 minutes. I uh, figure we did about 10 quests, roughly. So let's take a look at how much stuff we get from all those quests, right? So first off, let's take a look at our bag. So we got three weapons to dis disassemble, break down, what do you want to call it? Salvage. Two totems. Three helmets. Two pieces of chest, which I think we already had one of these already. Two pieces of shoes, one glove, two shoulders, and we already had this waist. So right there, we're already stacked up with stuff. Now, my last pro tip for getting cores, right? Uh, and plus, not only that, but look at how many cores we actually have just from doing the quests themselves. So we were at, like, what, 130 or something like that? So you already have uh, 350 extra cores right here, or whatever it is, you know, 300, 350. So right there alone, if you keep doing these regionals, dailies, whatever you want to call them, you're already getting cores just from the missions themselves. So let's take now my last pro tip um, when it comes to core farming is grab yourself and make sure you lock these into your um, inventory. You want to grab yourself some salvaging gear. What I mean by that is I believe I have, so salvaging right here, increases artifact core gain by salvaging plus 4.4%. So I put this bad boy on, and I believe I got a waist of the same thing. Yeah, right there. 4.4, or 4.1. So right there, that's 4 point, or it's 8.5% extra core gain. And oddly enough, it makes a big difference. So we're going to go here, we're going to start salvaging. So remember, we were at like a, like 100 or 130 roughly cores, already at 432. It's been 20 minutes roughly. So let's see what we get after we salvage all this. And obviously we're not salvaging that, we're saving that for fail stacking. Keep an eye on that video, obviously, guys, for your fail stacking needs. Alright, so there we go. A bunch of pieces. Salvage them all. Right there, I'm at 1,680 cores in less than 20 minutes. You literally can't go wrong doing this method. So 20 minutes. So I was telling somebody the other day on Reddit, I did this, I did the whole map. And I mean, I did the whole map. I did... Karzakor, Navarra, Nolwais, Tristeza, Jungle, Zankala, all the way up to Padana, Canis Valley, Canis Mountains, Borean, Ostium. I did everything I possibly could on the map that was related to these timed quests, right? All the regionals. So I did them all, and I ended up with roughly 15,000 cores, 16,000 cores by the end of it. It took a while, and I did it with um, two buddies, so it did go faster. I think it took us... I think three and a half hours roughly to do everything. Um, I mean, even three hours actually. And we ended up with about 16,000 cores at the end of it. So right there you go. That's how um, you guys make your cores, how you guys are gonna get your best gains from getting your cores. And not only that guys, don't forget that when you're doing these missions, right? You're doing the regional missions at each area. You're not only getting um, the cores themselves. You're also getting, you're getting XP, you're getting SXP, which is, you know, dire. Everyone needs X SXP. And you're getting gold. You can't go wrong. This is going to keep your gold up for when you're doing your stars of the exchanges. You're going to get your XP to, for leveling up and your SXP for leveling up all your um, skills. So I hope this guide helped you out. Um, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, once again, thank you all. I appreciate you all watching the videos. 
And um, if you guys need anything else in the future, hit me up in the comments. I might just make a, bit, a video for it. Once again, thank you all. Peace out.